today session i am going to discuss about the post transistor logic in vlsi design so before that first i define what is post transistor so post transistor in the sense just collecting the input value from input side that input value is transferred to the output side when the control signal is activated so in this post transistor we have a two input value so one is the primary input another one is the controlling input the input value is transferred to output side based on the control signal so when the control signal value equal to 1 that time the input value is transferred to output side it's called as a post transistor so in this post transistor the primary input is drive in gate terminal drive on source terminal but complementary CMOS logic the primary input only drive in through the gate terminal so it's a major difference by the designer prefer post transistor so in this post transistor the number of transistor requirement is very less compared to the CMOS logic so and also capacitance value is also very less because in this design we are using less number of transistors so only the designer prefer post transistor so in this video i am going to design the AND operation, OR operation and NOT operation using POST transistor. So first I design AND gate using POST transistor. Let me draw the symbol. So it's a symbol of AND gate. So input variable is A and B, Y equal to A dot B. So then write truth table. So in this logic operation we have a two inputs A and B. So these two inputs will be making four combinations of input values. Then corresponding output is Y. You know the AND gate property. Both the inputs are high. That time only output is 1. Remaining all the case output value set to be 0. So it is a truth table. So now I am going to design this logic gate into POS transistor. So post transistor logic for AND operation. So in this AND gate we have a two input variables. So each variable consider transistor. So here I am taking NMOS transistor for this design. So two NMOS transistors is required to design the AND gate operation. So this one is the controlling input. So here let me take the control input is B and B bar. So if this two variable B is the controlling input. So another one is the normal input values. So based on these two values it produces the output value. So just to short these two output lines and get the result. So Y equal to E dot B. So it's a simple structure for this AND gate. Now I assign the input values based on the truth table. So when B value equal to 0. So when B value equal to 0. So in this case A value 0 on 1. Irrespective of A value the result is 0. So when B value equal to 0. Irrespective of A value the result is 0. So input value is assigned to 0. So this input value 0 is passed to output side when the control signal is activated. So when B bar value equal to 0, so this 0 is transferred to output side. So it's the operation of this transistor T2. Then come to the next case. So when B value equal to 1, so when B value equal to 1, so in this case, the result is 0 and 1. So this result is equal to A. So in this case, the result is equal to A. So input of T1 transistor is A. So when B value equal to 1, so A value is transferred to output side. So let me write the condition. So when B value equal to 1, so in this case, T1 transistor turn on. So T1 transistor on. So this A value is transferred to output side. So in this case A value is 0. So this 0 is transferred to output side. So here output is 0. Then T2 transistor is off. So it's a 
b equal to one condition. So next case b equal to zero. So now b value equal to zero. So this P two transistor turn on P one transistor off. So in this case the zero input value. So this zero is transferred to output side. So this zero is transferred to output. Based on this input value on control signal, we can get the output result. Then come to the OR operation. So OR gate. So it's a symbol of OR gate. So A and B is the input variable, and Y is the output variable. The Boolean expression is A plus B. Truth table. So truth table for OR gate. So A B is the input variable, Y is the output variable. Zero 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 one one zero one one. So output of this two uh, OR gate operation is zero one one one. So it's a truth table. Now I am going to design the POS transistor logic for OR gate. So here also I am taking two NMOS transistor. So output of these two NMOS transistor is short and get the final output. So Y equal to A plus B. So OR operation. So here the control signal is B and B bar. So in this OR gate also B is the control signal. So based on the control signal B value equal to zero, B value equal to one. So any one of the transistor is turned on and provide the output. So here first I assign B value equal to zero. So in this case B value equal to zero. So A value is zero and one. The result is zero and one. So when B value equal to zero, the output is equal to A. So this Y equal to A. So here, so B value equal to zero. So in this case, Y equal to A. So whatever value present in A, so that content is transferred to output side. Next case B value equal to one. So next case B value equal to one. So in this case A value zero and one. So irrespective of these two value, the result is one. So Y equal to one. So this is the basic operation of uh, this OR gate. So based on this signal, now I assign the input values for this POS transistor. So when B value equal to zero, so B value equal to zero, Y equal to A. So input is A. So this A is transferred to output side. The next case B value equal to one, Y equal to one. So input of the T1 transistor is one. So this one is transferred to output side when B value equal to zero. Sorry, B value equal to one. So let me take this input value A value zero and B value one. So B value equal to one, A value is zero. So in this case, so B equal to one. So B equal to one in the sense Y equal to one. So this one is transferred to here. So this P one transistor on this transistor is off. So this uh, one is transferred to output side. So now Y equal to one. So this is the basic operation of OR gate. So using this logic, I will verify all the inputs. So now come to the next gate. Not operation. So it's a symbol of not gate. A, A bar. So A is the input value. A bar is the output value. Truth table. So A, A bar. Zero, one, one, zero. So it's a truth table of not gate. So now I'm going to draw the POS transistor logic for not operation. So here also we need two NMOS transistor. The control signal is A and A bar. These two output are short and get the final output y equal to y. So based on this two table, assign the input value. So A equal to 
0. So, a equal to 0, the result is 1. So, y is the result. So, a bar, a value equal to 0, the input of this P2 transistor is 1. So, this 1 is transferred to output side. Suppose, a value equal to 1. So, a value equal to 1, the input of the T1 transistor is 0. So, when a value equal to 1, so this T1 transistor on, this 0 value is transferred to output side. Now, output of this transistor is y, y equal to 0. Suppose, a bar value equal to 0, so in this case, this transistor is on, this one goes to off. So, this 1, so this 1 is transferred to output side. So, now output set to be 1. So, this is the cost transistor logic for not operation. So, I hope you understand the concept very well. If you are watching first time in my video, kindly subscribe and support us to make a lot of videos. Thank you.